Today, we will briefly discuss how to set up the 843-R and 843-R-USB power meters to take CW measurements when using photodiode or thermopile detectors. For a more in-depth discussion on this topic, please see the 843-R power meter manual, which can be downloaded from the Newport.com website. In this video, we will assume that you have already done the basic power meter setup discussed in the introduction to the 843-R video. The 843-R measures power continuously at an update rate of 15 times per second for both photodiode and thermopile detectors. To ensure the best measurement accuracy, center the laser beam carefully on the center of the active area surface of the detector. The laser beam should be at 90 degrees to the face of the detector. You have a choice of two different display modes for reading power on the 843-R meter. Numerical with needle or numerical with bar graph. The measurement screen display will change accordingly. Use the mode button and the down arrow to select the measurement type. For a CW power measurement with a thermal pile detector, select power. For a photodiode, the only choice is power. The mode button will be replaced with a non-changeable power button. Press OK. If you find that the ambient environment has a thermal background that results in a non-zero reading on the 843-R, even when no laser is applied, press the right arrow button on the bottom of the measurement screen, then press the offset button to subtract the background. Pressing the offset button again will add the background back in. The offset feature is active when the offset key is reverse highlighted. Because detectors are hot swappable with the 843-R meter, you can connect the detector with the meter turned on or off. For the remainder of this discussion, we will use a 918D series photodiode detector. Now select the wavelength you will be working at. From the measurement screen, press the setup key. Next, press the down arrow until the laser menu selection is highlighted and then press the enter arrow. Select the desired wavelength and press the OK button. Next, select the required power range for your power measurement. Use the down arrow to highlight the range menu selection. Select the appropriate range, manual range, or auto for auto ranging, or DBM to display the power in a logarithmic scale. Note, DBM is not available when using a 919P series thermal pile detector. Press OK. When using the 918D or 818 series photodiode detectors, there will also be a filter menu option. This refers to the external attenuator on these detectors. Use the down arrow to select the out option if you are not using an attenuator, or the in option if the attenuator is being used with the detector. Press the OK button. The above settings will automatically be saved for the next time the 843-R is used. Congratulations! You are now ready to take a CW measurement with your new 843-R series power meter.